All right, when buying used equipment, I get lots of bulbs in too. Some of them are left in hoods, but some of them come in in boxes. I even get new bulbs in boxes, but regardless, anything that I buy used, I take the bulb out of the box, and I don't ever pretend it's new. The last thing you want your store to get is a reputation for selling used shit like new. It's a problem you'll never be able to recover from. Then, once I get the bulb, it's super easy. You can just kind of look at the tube, see if it's burnt, if it's burnt in really bad like it's been used for a while, Hey, throw it in one of those $99 Craigslist deals that you sell. But if you get a new bulb or something pretty close to new, you might wrap it in a different color tape to market, write the price on it just like that so everybody else knows. And anytime you sell one of these bulbs, that's another product you don't have to replace, more money in the register. All right, so I speak to lots of store owners and we talk about who buys new and who buys used and not everyone does it. So I'll share my experience with you. Um, by buying everything off Craigslist, I find that I get more customers because there's less on Craigslist, but then I have that used equipment. So all summer long, we're buying used equipment here. But then, look at the deals I get. Like, look at this Raptor. I got this Raptor for 60 bucks. I'll sell it for 150. That's a $90 difference, right? And so if you get one of those Raptors from Hydro Farm, it'll be about 160. Now, it's supposed to MSRP at 240. So we're already at 80 bucks. If you give them a 20% discount, that's even less money. So this used Raptor makes me almost twice what you're gonna get selling something new. I also keep new Raptors in stock, but some people want used, some want new. It's nice to cater to both. For instance, this is one of those all-inclusive 400 watt bulb ballast things built together. I think they cost us about 100 bucks. I got it for 10, they didn't even know what they had. Pow the power box flip box, too light. This is, I think, got it for like 20 bucks. They sell for 200. Here's a 1,000 watt ballast and a 600 watt ballast. And I'll tell you what happens to me so often, you probably wouldn't believe it. I'll get some dude come in in the morning with a 1,000 watt ballast and he wants to downgrade to a 600 watt ballast. So I say, fine, if you buy a bulb, I'll swap your ballast for 40 bucks. Guy buys a bulb, I swap his two ballasts and I get $40 plus the bulb. Later that day, someone else always comes in and they're like, hey, I got a 600 watt ballast, I want to swap out for a 1000 watt ballast, and I will sell them the same shit that that dude brought in this morning, and I'll tell them the same thing. Buy a bulb, and I'll swap you ballast for 40 bucks. If they don't want to buy a bulb, I'll swap the ballast out for 60 bucks. This is one of the ultimate ROs that I sell. This is the 300 gallon version. Somebody bought this thing from me for like 320 bucks. Bought it back like about six months later. I bought it from him for 20 bucks. Put new filters in it cost uh, 30, 60, about 70 bucks to put filters in it, and I'm gonna sell it again for 225 bucks used. It's awesome, I love this new and used stuff. So is it your choice? Yes, but it does help a lot thin out Craigslist, and it does help bring more customers into your store. I can't tell you how many people come in, swap something in or out, I don't have to replace it, I don't have to rebuy anything that they traded for me, and I got cash in my hand every day. All right, I'll give you one more example of used equipment. Guy comes into my store today, sells me these three ballasts and these three hoods. I buy the hoods for 20, the ballasts for 25, $45 a set. I'm into this whole thing for 135. For $135, even if I sold one hood and ballast and added one of the beater bulbs that I get used when other people bring their shit in, then, then I'd be good. So I'd technically be getting twice what I paid, right? Because I still have two more to sell but I won't. I'll sell that for 150 with the bulb, this setup here. If they want two, I'll do it for 135. And if they want to take all three, I'll do it for 120 bucks a setup. I'll get 360 bucks, ditch a couple of dead bulbs that I got from underneath the counter, and I'm good. I spend 135 and I'll get 360 out of it. There's not too much stuff new you can get that kind of profit margin out of it.